This is a Faraday Defense dry bag, a black stealth backpack bag that is waterproof. It's a dry bag, and it blocks signals from uh, radio waves, EMF, EMP, anti-tracking on it, so the signals don't get through. You've got a GPS on, and you want to be go stealth. You can stick it inside this bag, and it won't receive a signal. This has got the pockets on the side here. It's got the backpack straps, which are nice and padded right there. And it folds up and becomes a really cool looking bag. And we're gonna talk about it right now. Shut up and sit down. Ham Radio 2.0 reviews news and how-tos of things that are new in amateur radio. This is kind of an off topic because it is a signal blocking bag from Faraday Defense. I picked this up on a Black Friday sale they had. Uh, I mentioned it in my shopping video I did the week of Black Friday, so hopefully some of you caught that. And If you've been looking at these types of bags, maybe you were able to pick one up for a discount as well. But if not, check the link in the description below because they might have like a Christmas sale or a New Year sale or something like that going on. Depending on when you're watching this video, maybe it's a sale of the other time of year. But this bag is pretty cool. You can got the typical dry bag thing on it where you roll up the top I'll tell you what I'm gonna do it the other way so that it bends the other way there we go so I'll turn it around to the back like that and then it's got two straps that come over from the back and strap down just like that and now you've got a backpack with a dry bag that you can put on and wear and keep your stuff in go camping with make sure you have your stuff out of the way I haven't adjusted these straps for myself yet. Obviously, I've never put this thing on. But then you can carry it like this. You can carry it out to a poda, keep your stuff dry, and carry it out to a soda, and carry it through the airport. And you can't get, uh, you can't get, um, <laughs> I guess they could, they're, they're, you gotta put this thing through the scanner at the airport and they're gonna say something to you. I mean, that's just how it is, but uh, oh well. <laughs> it is what it is. So what I want to do is I want to test this and see how much of signal, signal blocking it actually does. I'm going to take an HT radio and put it inside the bag. And then I'm going to key up from another HT. I'm going to see if it, if it hears the radio through the, blocking, the signal blocking technology that is included in this bag. So check this out. All right, here's what we're going to do. I've got two... Ham Radio HTs, KC5 HWB testing, KC5 HWB testing on 146.52. So I've got two HTs, and you can hear that right now. I'm going to turn this one way up so that it makes a lot of noise just like that. That's full volume. Just like that. And I'm going to put it inside this bag, and then I'm going to key up again and see if, it, see if I can hear the radio from right here. Curious to see if that works. Ooh, that does work. KC5 HWB. Ah, so I can... Okay. Hello. One, two, three. Okay. So now I get just a little bit. All right. So right next to it, if I'm right next to it, KC5 HWB testing. If you can hear that, hopefully you can hear that, but it's real distorted. KC5 HWB test. Okay. There. Right. Okay. There. It, there. It's blocked. There. It's not blocked. But I'm right next to it, okay? So I'm right flanking next to it. Okay, so if I get out here, I'm gonna move back. I'm gonna move back, KC5 HWB testing. And the signal's gone right here. The signal's gone right there, right there. There it is, and it's all distorted. It's all distorted. I'm two feet away from the bag right now, transmitting five watts into a radio that should be hearing it plenty. I'm gonna do the same test, taking it out of the bag and show you the difference. So it's definitely blocking signals right here. I'm gonna lay it down just like that. Okay. KC5 HWB testing, and I'm going back, and I'm going back, and I'm gonna stand way back here. So it was not hearing me from this far away while the radio was inside the bag, but now it's full open transmit, as well it should be. The range on these HTs is probably somewhere around, well, as I say, people are always asking range of radios when I do a radio review. And the range is really kind of almost unlimited if you have line of sight. You can use a handheld transceiver 
especially if you have a Yagi antenna, but you can use a five watt handheld to talk to the International Space Station or to talk to amateur radio satellites. And those are straight up with nothing in between you and that station, that satellite or, or the ISS. But you can't talk that far on ground waves because you've got trees and buildings and elevations, all kinds of stuff in between you. So, but, it, but this close together, five feet right here. KC5 HWB testing, testing a signal blocking technology on this Faraday defense bag, KC5 HWB. You can hear that perfectly, but if you put it inside the bag, it gets real, dis yeah, you can hear it when you're right next to it, but hopefully you can hear inside the camera that it was really distorted. Okay, right there. So it's real quiet right now, I can hear it. I don't know if the camera can hear it or not, but I can. But it gets real distorted. And then if you move away from it, like right now, you can't hear it at all. Right now, hello, one, two, three. Yeah, it's real distorted right there, and it doesn't work when you get, you can hear the static in it. Hopefully that the camera can hear that and it's completely blocked at this point. So it is definitely doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Let's try another test real quick. I'm gonna go over to the NOAA weather station. Harris, cloudy, okay. 75, south at 20, gusting to 20. This is 162.425, I've got it on receive, this radio, this is NOAA weather closest to me right now. I'm going to turn this radio all the way up, put it in the bag, and see how much it receives. Because this, this is real far away. This is a lot farther away than my HT standing here next to me. Winds 10 to 15 miles. Coming southwest 15 to 20. As soon as I put it in the bag, it goes away. Totally gone. Cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly clear. Yep, I don't even, I'm not even closing the top of the bag, and it's gone. 14 miles an hour. So what that tells me is that this is really good at blocking signals that you're not if you're standing next to an emp blast you probably got bigger problems than whatever electronics you're carrying in your bag <laughs> but if you are wanting to be tracked by or wanting to not be tracked by gps this will block that signal if you want to just keep your stuff safe from all kinds of electrical interference doesn't even have to be as something as significant as an emp if you have like an electric if you're nearby a transforming station and you're by a, a power grid station or you have some sort of lightning strike near you, okay, and it sends this surge through the air, it's going to, it could potentially affect electronic equipment in your area. And something like this is not a guaranteed stop, but it certainly doesn't hurt anything. And it might just save your equipment from being affected by some sort of EMP or solar um, flare up or something like that. So in my opinion, this is a very good bag. We're gonna do some more testing with it in future videos for the waterproofing of it and taking it on hikes and whatnot. So thanks for watching today. Put your comments below. Let me know if you have this bag, if you have anything else by Faraday Defense, because I'd be interested in reviewing some of their other products as well. And what you think about, um, what if you have some other sort of solution for this type of environment, this type of situation, I would love to hear from you and let, you, let me know what it is. Put a comment below. Thanks for watching today.